Hey, what's good viewers? Today I've got the Batman The Dark Knight Rises 2015 ton exclu con exclusive Mezco toys. I have such a problem saying that. This is basically the two set of the Mutant Leader and Batman. So here's the Mutant Leader side. And uh, we'll go to Batman on the other side. Sorry if this review... Um, I'm not used to doing big figures. I'm just kind of showing the box here. Uh, not This isn't really a big figure, but it's a really big box. The box is quite hefty as well. It uh, weighs about 10 pounds. It's pretty uh, pretty hefty. Um, really cool thing about this side is the little visor there. Let me get the actual box. And this is some really nice box art here. I like that a lot. Let me adjust my light. Sorry about the reflection, but, you know, whatever. We get the classic scene of uh, the Dark Knight facing off against the mutant leader in the mud pit and we get a little bit more of a design there of the mud pit and again in the back it's kind of just like a junkyard if I recall I mean I've read at least like three times and I've, I got the uh, the DVD of it it's really 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 good book if you have not read it what the hell is wrong with you I mean so you could only get it from the con or you could get it from the website I don't know if you get it but they came with a big bad toy insert which is interesting so there's no way I could have slipped that in there. And uh, I guess this is a good time for me to do some shameless advertising and say I got a link to the description below to Big Bad Toy Store if you want to go check that out. So we got both of them right there. And then also in the box, a little bag you fell out. I really like those little bags. I think Figma is like the only other toy company that gives bags. I love these little bags. Really, really nice touch. Here's the figures. Mutant Leader and Batman. Oh, it smells. I love the smell of fresh paint or fresh toys. This is a really nice base. It's like it feels like it's out of metal or something. Or jeez, it's really solid. Wow. Wow, that's a really nice uh, quality there. Good, good mass to it. Really, really solid. Uh, let's go up a little bit so you can see the detail. Um, you can already see it's a light gray and we got some brown in there a little detail it's supposed to be a mud pit I want to zoom in right here we got some shiny kind of like oil looking stuff right here it looks really nice it feels really smooth and everything everything else kind of feels like uh, like a rusted metal is what I would give it that's what I would call it and then we do see some rusted metal back there we got some like concrete box right there you know this looks like a drainage pipe and that's where like the oil or slimes coming out of um, we see some tracks right there or fencing whatever that is scroll a little bit to the left here we got looks looks like uh, wheels kind of more scrap metal and there's some fencing all kinds of good stuff here and again we see like a leaky pipe it's leaking out some uh, some fluid or whatever some shiny oily type stuff it looks freaking cool got the batman we got the mutant leader here looks like we got a crowbar right here mutant leader look at all these sets of hands batman's come with they're bloodied so he's got four including the fists right here mutant leader comes with two sets of hands and some nasty ass feet dude watch that crap Batman's all battle, battle, battle damaged. But let's open it up and get a closer look at that. I finally got him out of package. I've been kind of fiddling him, fiddling with him myself here a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, I'm kind of nerding out. I can hear myself whisper, oh my gosh, so cool. Because there's a lot of really cool stuff about this. Toys, uh, they look so awesome. I mean, the amount of detail and love that's going into these. There's a lot of people, like I might have mentioned before, who are against the cloth figures, but they can just really suck it right now because this was done so well. We'll first take a look at the cape here. I mean, look at that. It's all dirtied up and muddied and wet looking. It's a little bit stiff. It's just the amount of detail they went in with this is just astounding. I mean, look at that. That looks so cool. I mean, this is like a custom. You'd pay somebody a lot more money for this than you could actually buy it for a retail because it just looks so nice let's zoom in on the face here he only comes with one face sculpt man look how beat up he is that is some great detail you can definitely tell one eye is about to be swollen shut there the other one's still wide open his face is all bloodied 
Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. I'm totally nerding out. And then we get the uh, the chest here, all the blood and the scratch marks of the demon. Uh, not the demon. He does look like a demon, but the mutant leader scratched his chest open right across his bat symbol. We even get some some blood here on his belt. Let me back it up a little bit. And uh, we got blood on his his knuckles here. Where he's been punching the mutant leader in the face. Unfortunately, we don't get a beaten up mutant leader, but that's okay because we only get one mutant leader. And if I wanted one mutant leader, I kind of want just a normal looking one for the time being. Um, I don't know if I'd buy another mutant leader or not. I'm not complaining. I'm just you know pointing that out. That mutant leader doesn't isn't all beaten up like Batman. Um, I'm really glad that I decided to go with the. Uh, I think I got the dark blue and gray version, the other Mezco, and now I got the light blue version, so I'm really glad I got two different versions of it. Uh, let me see here, and he got the blood, not the blood, but the mud on his pants, and he's got mud on his boots. It all looks so well done. I mean, it looks great, no doubt. This is a very, very well done figure. I am extremely impressed with it. Um, we'll take a quick look at all the hands it comes with. There you go. Got some open palm hands. Again, with the blood and the mud all over them. It's hard for me to uh, zoom in on these little hands and stuff. Then we get some bat hands or batarang hands, whatever you want to call them. Those don't have any blood on them. Understandable because I mean, he's throwing them at people, but they could have had some blood on them. It would have been kind of cool. And then we got some more, they look like gripping hands. They grip, you know, weapon probably, whatever. So those are the hands he comes with, including, of course, the fists. I have no problem, as I've stated before, with the cloth. I actually like the cloth. I like the direction of this. I don't mind cloth as long as it's done right. And in my opinion, this is done right. I think it looks better than, you know, especially the cape. I think it looks better than a plastic cape. My opinion, I understand why people disagree with it, and plus the cloth does not hinder the articulation at all. Of course, you should be careful. I mean, you can't do a 360 with the shoulder here because, I mean, obviously you're going to break uh, the cloth here, but hey, you know what? You can't do that with your arm anyways, really, so what's the point? I mean, any pose that you could have done, turning it around, you could have done anyways just by going backwards. So elbow... You know, nothing's hindered by articulation. I'm not going to go too far into it because I've already reviewed the other one and a lot of people have probably already reviewed it. And this is more a uh, review of the mold and the actual design and the paint apps, which are freaking amazing! So, amazing figure. I have a review of Batman if you want to watch it. I promise that the articulation is fine. And uh, he stands very well. I mean, I'm just throwing him over there. He stands well. I like that a lot. And then we got the mutant leader here, who is equally as freaking awesome. He was the first one I started playing with. He looks just so cool. His nipples, little titty twister. You know you guys want to do it. Titty twister, purple nipple. Yeah. He's got little mud specks all over him. The muscle structure looks, looks uh, it's accurate to the comic. But, you know, his waist is way too small for his upper body but he looks good I'm not complaining too much and his chest is way too big for his arms his arms should be bigger if his chest is that big I mean dude yeah let's look at the face real quick though all right so we got the face here it looks oh, that's some great sculpting they did there that's some great paint apps look at those nasty yellow teeth dude brush your teeth nasty and that tongue in there the tongue looks really good really well done tongue whoever sculpted these you deserve a clap Round of applause, Mezco, wherever guy sculpted these, I should probably look it up. You deserve a lot of love because you did a great job. This looks really, really good. I'm really impressed. Again, we get leather pants made out of real cloth. Sorry. Uh, this is not real cloth. This is plastic belt. Um, it's not hindering articulation at all. Uh, the only part of articulation that I don't like on this figure is that the ankles don't really move at all. There's no swivel here at all and this is about all the range of motion you get out of the ankles that's kind of the most disappointing part of both the figures right here is the ankles um, but as we're down there look, look how dirty his feet are. look how cool they look you can see the bones there on oh, his toes this looks freaking awesome even on the bottom they dirtied it up and made it look good 
this all looks really good. I guess uh, I haven't reviewed this figure, so we'll do the articulation on that. Head sculpt, or head articulation, does the exorcist. His arm will go up that far. He'll do 360, upper bicep swivel, double jointed, ow, ooh, <laughs> these little spikes, they hurt your hand. A uh, double jointed elbow, wrist swivel on a hinge here, if I can get it, yeah, there you go. Uh, we get a good ab crunch. His nipples are sharp too. Dang. What the heck? Uh, we get a diaphragm joint that swivels around. Uh, he, sw he swivels with the wrist, uh, the waist as well. His legs will kick up that far. They go back that far. And then he's got... Which I guess to avoid these spikes. They hurt. Jeez. And then, you know, we get a lot of good motion out of the... the what do you call this? Knee here. I forgot what a knee was. Um, there, are, there are some restrictions with cloth. Like he, I wouldn't go much farther than that. Or else you might tear the fabric down there. But I mean, he's the mutant leader. He's not doing splits. So if you're making your mutant leader do splits, there's something wrong with you. Uh, he's got a cool crowbar here. Got some nice texture on it. It has a real brassy kind of metal look. They did a really good job. It's nice and reflective. I'm not sure if you can see that in the light. Hopefully you can. And it's a really nice design overall. Fits well in his hand. Let's kind of shove it in there. Kind of scared to do it on camera. Ooh, his fingernails are sharp too. Dang, everything on this this figure is dangerous. It's going to hurt somebody. And lastly, it comes with this mud piece, which is also from the comic where Batman throws the mud in the mutant leader's face. But he has glasses on, but it doesn't really matter because he still gets the mud in the face. And it's really, really soft plastic, so I don't really... Uh, um, feel afraid slapping it on there fits on there pretty well uh, the design I can't exactly remember what it looks like in the comic of course but I'm I'm probably I'm gonna go with Mezco and I'm giving the benefit of the doubt that it actually probably looks exactly like it did in the comic it probably did look all huge and big and weird like that I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt because it does look a little bit weird I mean if you threw someone mud in someone's face it wouldn't look like that unless you had like a freaking snow shovel. Overall, I, I'm of course gonna recommend this because it's awesome. The sculpting, the paint, everything, the cloth looks freaking cool. The base, it comes with a cool base. My only gripe is that I wish it came with two bags. That's it. Everything else is freaking off the chain. So definitely go out and get these. It came with a big bad toy insert, so. You know, visit Big Bad Toy Store, see if you can find it there. Other than that, I really thank for you for watching my review. I had a lot of fun opening this. It's such a great, cool toy. So happy to have this in my collection. Later. Peace out, Cub Scout.